by dust particles is released in large numbers and at high velocities throughout the firing. Especially at the end of the burn, a second class of much larger debris is released in smaller numbers and at lower velocities as aluminium oxide slag. And two events are believed to have been collisions. The explosions are mainly caused by onboard energy sources, either due to a pressure buildup in propellant tanks, battery explosions, or the ignition of hypergolic fuels. Each explosion creates thousands of small objects. A further contribution to orbital debris is caused by sodium-potassium droplets formed of liquid metal coolant released by nuclear-powered satellites, mostly in orbits of about 900 kilometers altitude. It's estimated that about 270,000 sodium-potassium droplets in sizes ranging from a few millimeters to four centimeters have been released into space. Of small man made particles or micrometeoroids can intensify all other degradation effects. Once a surface is damaged by impacts, atomic oxygen or ultraviolet radiation can destroy the inner regions of the material. Parts of the surface of satellites and upper stages that are produced by impacts are called ejecta. A controlled atmospheric re-entry into uninhabited ocean areas is the recommended procedure. The fuel consumption to raise the orbit by 300 kilometers corresponds to the fuel consumption for three months of station keeping. These debris mitigation measures are the steps necessary to reduce the growth of the orbital debris population, leaving a sustainable space environment for future generations.